Jesus said to his disciples, there was once a rich man who had a manager and charges were brought to him that this manager was squandering his property. So he called him and he said to him, what is this that I hear about you? Give me an account of your management for you cannot be my manager any longer. And the manager said to himself, well, what should I do now, now that the master has taken my position from me? I'm not strong enough to dig, and I'm too ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, so that when I'm dismissed as manager, people will welcome me into their homes. So, summoning his master's debtors one by one, he said to the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down and quickly make it 50. And then he said to another, and how much do you owe? He replied, a hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, take your bill, make it 80. And the master, well, he praised the dishonest manager for being so shrewd. You see, the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth so that when you default, oh, they will welcome you into eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in very little is faithful also in much. And whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with dishonest wealth, who will entrust to you true riches? And if you have not been faithful with that which belongs to another, then who will entrust to you that which is truly yours? No slave can serve two masters. Either he will love one and hate the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot love God and wealth.